Uh, we're doing this band and then okay. this song is okay. this tomorrow. Right. Let's go. Let's go. A piece of dust just like flew at me. If I find something on there, I'm going to hit you. <gasps> I told you. You liar. Turn around. What's up, guys? Welcome back to JPMP. I'm Justin. I'm Manny. Eh? <laughs> Did you go through puberty? What? <laughs> Today we are listening to As Tall as Lions. The song Is This Tomorrow? That's about six feet tall. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I have never heard of this band at all. How about you? Me neither. And how I stumbled upon the song, I was just trying to like find new bands to listen to. Mm -hmm. And... I was listening to The Family Crest and yes. The Deer Hunter and then like, mm -hmm. As Tall as Lions and then I picked this w one song and I just like, I literally listened to like two seconds of it in the middle and I'm like, oh, that sounds cool. And then we, and yeah. So I have no idea. Perfect. That's how we like it. Uh, of course, let us know what you guys think of the song. What do you think of the song? Uh, jo join us on Twitter. Join <laughs> us on Instagram. Join us in the comments below for discussion. It, it doesn't feel right today. It doesn't feel right. This is the song... No, it doesn't feel right. We didn't transition well into this. Like, come on. We, don't we talk a little bit? When you guys recommend us songs... There we go. Please sell the song to us. What do I mean by that? Oh, 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 me, Manny. me, me, me. Hang on, let me think. Tell us why you enjoy it. Tell us what it means to you. Don't just put Linkin Park numb. Yeah, because... That, that tells us... I just don't pay attention to them because it, there's nothing I know about the band and it's not selling anything to us. And we can only choose so many songs in a week, so, I mean, mm -hmm. just sell us the songs. Make us want to listen to it. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, let's get into it. This is As Tall as Lions with the song Is This Tomorrow. Join us on Twitter, Instagram, and the comments below.
I got something to say about this song. Go. This is kind of what the channel is for. This is this is true. I really appreciate how the song takes a standard pop rock structure sound, but then throughout, kind of going along with what we the song we just did um, by the Blue Notes, it has this very emotional message, and the music plays very well along with it. For example, the break, everything drops out. Oh, can you go to the lyrics real quick? In the in the break, when everything drops out from before, it says, "Is there really time for this? Are there any songs worth singing?" Almost like he's hesitating to sing it. Right, <gasps> but like everyone else is doing in the world, from his lyrics before, like no one wants to accept the things that are going on. Everyone's just kind of ignoring it. So he's kind of saying, "Should I say something, or should I do whatever what everyone else is doing?" And I just go like back and forth ignore this it and leave it for another day. Just like people do, they say, eh, "I'll do it tomorrow," or "I'll say something tomorrow." I'll... So he's still part of it. Yes. And then the ending, the ending, uh, like those, like he's trying to go, and he's just like, like uh. it, it carries that emotion of the lyrics and the story very well. That's my favorite part about this song, and that's what I appreciate most. I, I really like the. I'm assuming it's a guitar. I don't know if it was a guitar or bass that was doing the. I sound like bass. Okay, I, I honestly couldn't tell. Some well, like heavy effects and stuff. Mm-hmm. I think that's cool. It sounded very muse-like in the way that they bend and yeah. they go up and down on the strings on the notes. Um, and it was a really nice way to differentiate this instead of like just a regular pop. My pop favorite guitar. parts were the were the verses and how they were. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you call it? They were like dropping out as far as instrumentally. Yeah. In there, I think that was cool because mm-hmm. I know like space is a word we use a lot, but mm-hmm. there was just a lot of um, like it, it gave you room to breathe. Yeah. As you were listening to it, absolutely. Um, the drone. Like the way he was singing was very. Mm-hmm. It reminded me of very nothing but thieves. Yeah. Very strokes. Strokes. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I I love that style of singing. It even gave me some deer hunter kind of vibes too. I, I can hear why. that. I, I can hear that when you were mentioning it. Yeah. Um, but I think I I, I love the chorus. Mm-hmm. The chorus was uh, it's funny. The chorus was like. The type of chorus I like, like the grand kind of right. like big choruses, but I think the um, it was kind of scaled down. But I yes. like the melody. You don't need to see. Well, I forgot how it goes. You don't need to see something to know it needs to change. Mm-hmm. To know it needs to change. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was cool. Yeah. What do you give the song? I don't know. I like, this, this is my, weird. This okay. This is my first time right. hearing. This is weird for me because. <sighs> do you remember two weeks ago we did Caroline Rose? And you like the lyrics a lot. I did. And that kind of raised the score for you. Right? Yes. In this song, the lyrics are really what's like... To me, that's the... The, the, the kicker. Yeah, to this song. And that's really what's going to make me like rate it a higher uh, rating than I would normally rate this kind of song. It's a 3.8. I give it a 4. Because I do like the music behind it, no doubt. I give doubt. it a 4 because I want to get into them. Yeah, no doubt I do like the music behind it. And I love the groove that they build. And like I said, the way that they bring in the emotion as well. And isn't that just like a cool, like, oh, what kind of music, what bands do you listen to? Mm-hmm. It's Tall as Lions. Lions. You know? Family Crest. Uh, the Deer, Deer Hunter. Hunt. Dredge. Mm-hmm. We're doing a Dredge song. We will. Like, in this session. Yeah, 3.8. Honestly, I That's really love... High. I, I really like, love the lyrics and the writing. Dude, but it catches you from like that first kind of like... Hit it. Right, poppy. Okay, like okay, pop song, pop then, rocky, the, pop rocky. Then the bass gets in, right? Mm-hmm. Oh no, yeah. See, even that at that point, you're like, okay, something's coming because there's space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I just like, I just like the bass guitar, whatever it is. I just like. That's awesome. Come on. That's, like it's that's, bringing elements in, and it, it keeps this unique kind of atmosphere. It keeps you, I feel. It keeps you uh, on your toes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was about to whip my foot out like... <sighs> that would be really hard to do. I could do it. Uh, oh, you don't think I could? I don't want... Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> oh, you can do it. I was going to end while you are doing it. No, I didn't clip my toenails or anything. Oof. Thank you guys so much for watching. Join us down in the comments below to let us know what you thought of As Tall As Lines Is This Tomorrow. Please join us on Twitter. Let us know what you think of the song. Oh, and I've been keeping up with the Spotify playlist. Have you? Nice. Yeah. What did you say at first? I said have you. I have, yes. Nice. I woke up in the middle of the night. Every time I inhale to speak, you... 
You should probably do it a little faster. <laughs> Why you gotta breathe into it? Why you gotta breathe? And it's the first time I've breathed in that in like literally like. JPMP, we out.